The Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are seven-point favorites. The Chargers uh, coming off a tough loss against Dallas. Um, and that's a game they really, really should have won. And the penalties, the turnovers. They had 12 penalties yesterday for 99 yards. Two cost them touchdowns. Um, six took away first downs. Um, bad interception at the end of the first half by, uh, by Justin Herbert. Missed field goal. Just so many dumb, stupid, idiotic mistakes. Um, and, I mean, Justin Herbert's been good. Uh, here in this game, what was he? 31 for 41, 313 yards. Austin Eckler did a nice job. He caught nine passes for 61 yards, rushing for another 54. Um, this team really should be better than they are, but in typical Chargers fashion, uh, they cannot close the, close the deal. And that continues from Philip Rivers on. Kansas City, um, really bad loss here for Baltimore. Not that it wasn't like, you know, they kept it in there. Their offense was good. It's just their defense, man. It, it, it is such a problem with this team. It is... Thankfully, Kansas City has an offense that can score 30 or more every game to be able to compete because their defense is just so bad. They, 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 Baltimore had 500 yards against Kansas City. And it is such such a weakness with them. that They, they, they just look so inept. Um, teams just run down, the, march down the field against them. And so, and the other thing about Kansas City, and even though, yeah, we, we know they're great, Mahomes and all that, Kelsey, and they showed yesterday what they can do. Uh, Tyron Matthew yesterday with two picks, including a pick six. I've kept talking about how they've not covered, it seems like, any spread over the last year. I know they have. I know they've covered, like, three or four spreads. But it is, it is ridiculous watching the team continue to struggle to cover spreads. They, they did do it in week one. They didn't do it in week two. Um, and so, out of principle, I'm going to take the Chargers plus seven. I'm going to take the Chargers here. Even though my gut tells me, okay, Kansas City's a much better team than Chargers, I still feel like Kansas City's going to struggle with that spread again, especially with that defense. Especially with how bad that defense is. The Chargers are going to be able to do something here. Now, if the Chargers don't make any stupid mistakes like they did yesterday, that is, then I, th- I think they will definitely cover the spread. But until then, I am, I, I, I'm, I'm just not confident here in Kansas City. I'm not 100% sure that they're going to be able to cover the spread when they when they fail to do it so many times last season, when they fail to do it so many times this season. I think all of this is leading to the Chargers making it a close game, competitive game. I think Chargers Chiefs last year. Um, I think both games were close. I def- I, I believe the first one was uh, definitely. I don't know about the second one, but. I think this is a game here where the Chargers keep it close. They keep it exciting. Um, Kansas City wins because I can't imagine this team's going to start 1-2, and two, especially with that offensive talent. But I think the Chargers, with the Kansas City defensive problems, will cover the spread. We'll keep it close. So that's why I'm taking the Chargers. Give me the Chargers plus 7.